All right, folks, welcome back to another show, another portion of the show. <laughs> and uh, welcome to another unboxing, because you said you like seeing them. So I've uh, got some more packages in the mail. I thought maybe we'd spend a little time, hang out a little bit, and uh, open packages. I want to first say, uh, guitar repairs are going to return. I'm still fighting this shit that I got. Still fighting it. And uh, But if I live and ever beat this stuff... Guitar repairs is coming back. You see, I still got this Martin here, same one. The guy has been, dude. You, thank you for being so patient. In fact, thank all of you that have guitars here for being so patient while I'm not able to do anything. You know, some days I can see, some days I can't see at all. Uh, the little bit of work I've done up on this guitar till now, I did on days I could see. Today I can't see for shit. You know, and it just comes and goes, changes every day, and uh, I'm still trying to get the shit cleared off of me. Uh, with the new meds, it's working seems to be. It's just really slow to get rid of this stuff. Anyway, enough of that. I'm going to bring you over here now. And uh, here's what we got. One, two, three packages here. So let me orient them in a way that I don't give away anyone's... Dock anyone. I don't want to dock anyone. I think this will be alright. Okay. We'll start with this big white one. Let me get you. I'm going to get you. And bring you over here and we'll get right into it. Hold on. I appreciate you guys, the viewers, being so patient as well. Because, you know, you know, you come here and learn, learn guitar repair stuff. And, uh, haven't been very much of it except quick clip tips. I'm going to try to keep those coming. Keep those going. These, uh, these packages, all three of them, is from the same guy. His name's Eric C. You might see him in the comments. Or you might see him, uh, he's got a YouTube channel, he's a YouTube user. In fact, I'm going to put a link down below here, the description, so check his channel out. If you like guitar repair work, this man does amazing work. He's very, very good. Earthwood medium light strings. I don't know, dude, how you knew I like these. I think I've got some. Maybe right there. <laughs> I don't know how you knew it, but thank you, dude. But, uh, yeah, check. These is uh, 12 to 54s. Check Eric's channel out. And if you like guitar repair work and that kind of thing, then uh, I'm pretty sure you'll like his, his content. I'll, I'll put a link down below to his channel. So how y'all been doing, man? Eric is a good guy. Very good guy. I don't think I cut that. Yeah, maybe it is. I have no idea what this stuff is, man. Not a clue in the world. I don't know if it's a love letter that might fly out and hit us in the face. You never know what to expect. <laughs> Strings again. Authentic acoustic Martin guitar. I've never heard of that. MA170 PK3. I wonder what gauge those are. Here we go. 10 gauge to 47. Well, very cool, man. I tell you what, I can always use strings of all kinds. Anyone that wants to send me strings, <laughs> feel welcome to do so. Because, I, I mean, I can't keep enough of them. I've got a big pile of them up here, and I've got a big box full over there, completely full. All right, I want to be careful here. This is from Stumac. Wow. I can guarantee you whatever this is was expensive. Whatever's in here was expensive, because uh, we all know Stumac. The guys we love to hate. <laughs> wow, Eric. I appreciate anything, man. It's just All right, had to edit out a little part there. Because I gave uh, some personal info away. Don't want to do that. So, let me turn this around this way. Yeah, like I say, whatever this is. I mean, whatever it is. It's expensive. Let me just swap this over so you don't see... Anyone's I don't want to dock anyone man. I don't care so much about myself. This is heavy. Whatever it is, it's heavy. Like a kid at Christmas time. I think I can just cut that. Doesn't feel like anything in there that's gonna be in the way or or get hurt. Oh, wow, yeah, yes.
Unbelievably cool, Eric. Thank you so much, buddy. All this stuff will get used. These are, um, I don't know what you call them, a jack? I guess you would call them jacks. Put those in acoustic guitars, mostly, if you can use them in other things. And uh, they got a little place there for the braces. Put them right over the brace. Different options for different braces, different sizes. And then you screw them apart, and they spread out, and uh, squeeze the jack back, uh, brace back up at the top or the back or whatever you're gluing, and hold pressure on until the glue gets dry. Those will get used. Ain't no question about that. And this is a guitar. What is this? I, th I thought it was, at a glance, I thought it was a guitar uh, or electric guitar, you know what I mean? To tighten the output jack up. And now I'm not sure what it is. Do I get it out of here and look at it? I think that's what it is, but I'm not really sure. Yeah, I thought it was a a tool to adjust, like tighten your output jack up. Someone sent me a couple of those a while back, and I say someone, I know your name, I know who you are, I just can't remember if I can tell anybody or not. Eric said it was okay to tell who he was. Uh, this is to tighten up a switch on an electric guitar, you know, like a the toggle switch, okay? Those little rings that go on the toggle switch. You slide that down over the ring. Let's see. Screw it clockwise first. Slide that over the ring, over the toggle switch. And as you tighten this, turn it counterclockwise, that gets smaller and tighter. And then you loosen your toggle or tighten it, whichever. It's got teeth down in there like a spline. So it can get a hold of that uh, the ring well. Wow, yeah. That probably works for taking out output jacks too, or maybe for loosening. When I tighten them, I always like to hold the inside so the thing don't spin and tear your wires off. But loosen them, you might be able to use this to loosen them with. I'll have to try it, find out for sure. But I don't know, man. I will, I will find out and let you guys know. Though. Check this out, man. You know how many sets of strings in here? Three packs, I'm thinking. Okay, so the model number is probably MA170. And the PK3 probably means three, yeah, three sets. Okay, three there, three here. Two of these that I will use as soon as I, with this guitar right here, this Martin's next. And uh, the next guitar after it, I'll use these on. And probably one along that time, I'll use this on, and I'm sure I'll use strings on something very soon, as soon as I can see again. Wow, I can't see, man. I can't even see right now worth shit today. You know, it's amazing to me the number of YouTube channels that I see using semi-chrome polish on their guitars. I mean, it's just amazing, man. There's a whole bunch of channels using semi-chrome polish on a guitar. I have this to say to you. You're welcome. <laughs> I think I was the first one that did that, I think, on guitars. Seemed to be the oldest channel, you know, that's ever did it. Uh, I want to make mention again, man, about all these questions that I get. The PMs and the emails. PMs on Facebook. Used to get them on YouTube. I think they disabled that. I don't think you can send a PM on, on uh, YouTube anymore. If you go to the front page of this channel, there's a little search icon there, and that allows you to search this channel, not all of YouTube. Put in your question there, or something related to whatever you want to know, put it in there and search for it, you know, search this channel, I almost guarantee you I'll have videos on it, because, uh, you know, people's asking me questions about all kind of stuff, and if I have time, I'll just send them a link, you know, and say, watch this video, and, uh, they thank me for it. So, you know, wow, I just, I just get buried, man. Buried, alive in questions and uh, opinions. and uh, Well, the opinions I like, because some of them's new ideas I don't have. But, uh, yeah, if you just search the channel, watch my old videos, you'll probably find everything you have a question, every answer that you 
every question you need answered. So anyways, thank you, Eric. Dude, brother, you rock, man. And I appreciate all this stuff. And like I say, every single piece of it here will get used. I'm going to put a link down here to Eric's channel. And if you guys like video repair, maybe you can watch some of his videos while I'm on the mend. <laughs> if you like video repairs, this man does some amazing stuff. He uh, finished a few guitars with epoxy. Unbelievable how they came out. And I mean, he does all kinds of setups, everything, name it. He's like me. Sometimes he gets in a little deep, but he always finds a way out. <laughs> Anyways, thank you, Eric. I appreciate everything, man. Very thoughtful of you. And uh, it just touches me right there every time someone does something like this. Thank you all for watching. Thanks for your support here and on Patreon and wherever you support, however you do. Uh, wow, I'll just shut up there. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Eric. Click the link below. Go to Eric's channel. Check him out. Subscribe if you like him. If you like his stuff. Cheers! See you next time.